Your Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Well, the weekend is finally here, Justin. So how's the weather shaping up for it? Well, the weather, in my opinion, shaping up a lot better than what we had this week. A lot of chances for storms in and out throughout the week. Not all of us saw rain today or even during the week at times, but we did have the hot, muggy weather all around for the entirety of this week. We're going to put that on hold, at least for the next couple of days here heading into the weekend. But right now, still can't avoid it if you're out there right now. Again, 84 degrees, the current temperature over MSU in East Lansing. Now, we did have a couple areas of some showers and storms rumble through, mainly Jackson and Hillsdale counties. You see that quickly fading off to the south and away. That was around 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Most folks north of I-94 stayed dry, unless earlier this afternoon you were under a very quick brief shower just north of I-96, even towards St. John's and in the DeWitt area. Area as well. The temperature is still very warm, as I mentioned, 84 Lansing. Same temperature in Charlotte, 83 for Mason and in Jackson as well. Folks a little closer towards the state line in the mid to upper 70s, and that's mainly because we've had some rain recently pass through the area, so a little bit cooler there. But we do still have the humid air in place. You can see dew points are still in the mid 60s in most spots, low 60s, worst case. So we still have that to deal with and contend with, but that's going to drop overnight tonight as this front continues to bring the cooler air into the region. Region. Heading west, though, looking out, you can see temperatures still very warm in the plains. We're going to tap into some cooler Canadian air as we head into this weekend. It's not going to be cold per se. It kicks us right back down to around normal, but that wind will be out of the northwest. And it'll help bring in some slightly cooler temperatures and more comfortable air overall, a lot less humid. You see here again, satellite and radar shows those showers fading off. They're pretty much all out of the mitten state now. Looking west, not really much going on at all across Lake Michigan, and that's pretty much what we're going to be dealing with in the coming days here. So we'll time this out for you in future track just to show you, but you're not going to see too much activity on this. As we go through the next couple of uh, hours into the evening, we start to clear out, and then we get into the overnight period heading into tomorrow morning, and we have more sun, maybe a couple clouds early, but the overall day is looking very, very nice and sunny out there. Maybe a few high, thin clouds, but certainly going to have plenty of sunshine, comfortable conditions out there. It stays that way overnight and into Sunday morning too. Maybe a few afternoon clouds Sunday, but overall another very sunny day out there for the second day of the weekend. So the planner this evening again has got us warm in the next couple of hours. We eventually will get down to around 70 by midnight. We continue to see the clouds start to clear out out there. 58 eventually is what will fall to as soon as we get that clearing. Wind starts flowing in out of the northwest. Very nice sleeping weather tonight. Very comfortable out there. Can crack the windows open with temperatures like that and the humidity falling down as well. Should feel very comfortable and tomorrow if you ask me, just an absolutely beautiful day. A lot more comfortable with the humidity, not quite as hot as it was this week. We're right around where we should be, maybe a few degrees warmer at 78. And then we have cooler temperatures even on Sunday, only middle 70s, just a few clouds out there as well. But the heat very quick to return. By Monday, most folks into the upper 80s and some maybe even reach 90 on Monday. Tuesday, I think almost everybody gets into those 90s. It'll be very hot and we have some increasing clouds, some storms Tuesday night. That's associated with the tropical storm that will be coming ashore in the United States. It's remnants coming north. We'll have some rain to contend with Tuesday night and Wednesday before we take another cooler trend into next weekend. Looking like a little bit of a roller coaster ride here, Sarah.